The second film in the prequel trilogy launched in 2002. I will not let this republic be split in two. My negotiations will not fail. If they do, there aren't enough Jedi to protect the republic. We're keepers of the peace, not soldiers. Set ten years after The Phantom Menace, Anakin Skywalker shares a forbidden romance with Padme Amidala, while Obi-Wan Kenobi investigates an assassination attempt on a senator and discovers a secret clone army crafted for the Jedi. I hate it when he does that. Anakin, don't do anything without first consulting either myself or the Council. You don't need guidance, Anakin. I see you becoming the greatest of all Jedi. The movie finally showed that one scene everybody was waiting for since 1977. I will create a grand army of the Republic to counter the increasing threats of the Separatists. There hasn't been a full-scale war since the formation of the Republic. While the Clone Wars were a great source of inspiration for many video games to come, the movie gave developers loads of options to expand on or create new stories. In grave danger you are. Interestingly enough, two major titles, including the game with the same name as the movie, were developed for Nintendo's handheld device Game Boy Advance, a system less powerful compared to the home consoles. Over the course of Attack of the Clones 11 levels, the player is able to play as Obi-Wan Kenobi, Mace Windu and Anakin Skywalker, while the story of the game covers important events from the movie. The THQ developed Game Boy game brings players moments like Anakin battling the Sand People, Obi-Wan tracking Jango and his son Boba, and the Jedi Order's climactic battle with Dooku and Separatists, all while traveling from planet to planet. Most levels are played as a 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up manner on foot, in which a lightsaber is used as a weapon of choice. The player can not only slash his opponents with its glowing blade, but can also deflect attacks. Some levels play out as 3D first-person vehicular chase sequences, such as a speeder chase through Coruscant in pursuit of bounty hunter Sam Wessel. Attack of the Clones is not a hard game and lacks solid controls. Game Informer gave it a 1 out of 10, calling it the dark side of gaming. A few reviewers at the time thought the game was fine and gave a more forgiving review. Gun, this Clone War has. <laughs>